Welcome back inside the Nebraska Soybean Board Studio for this update of Agriculture News. Well, on today's report, I wanted to bring Rural Radio Network market anchor Clay Patton on, as we've seen some support in the agriculture commodities lately. And Clay, I'm curious if you can help us understand why that is, and we'll get to that, at a, that question here in a moment. But first, remind us where we're at in terms of the prices for both corn and soybeans as it sits at 9 a.m. on Thursday morning. Well, we are seeing a little bit of a lower open Thursday morning, but we're still seeing those soybean prices ranging in the low $11 range while we see the corn starting to dip well below that 420 range, nearing back towards the $4 mark. Clay, markets are all about supply and demand. What is driving this market? Is it the supply or the demand side? Well, really, it's a perfect storm. Some of you are called it the trifecta of elements coming together here. You see both the supply and the demand increasing for demand, shrinking for supply. And then we have a third, something that some may even consider magical. It's inflation that's starting to hit this market. And that's what's really allowed us to have this nice run up. Well, earlier this week, we saw the World Agricultural Supply and Demand Estimates reports come out. What did that tell us and how did that affect the trade? What that told us is the U.S. crop overall is shrinking. The World Outlook Board and the USDA both shrank both the overall harvest estimates for the U.S. corn and soybean crop. And then they also brought the carryout stocks, which means the stocks at the U.S. or supplies of U.S. grains that we'll have after we get done using this current harvest. How much we expect to have left over that we could export or find new domestic uses for is shrinking back to levels that we haven't seen since 2013 and 2014 when we had our last big commodity rally. Corn stocks are expected to be around 1.7 billion bushels and soybean stocks are down around 190 million bushels showing some of the tightest stocks to use ratio that we've seen in many years all right lots of things to keep an eye on there clay appreciate the information he's clay Patton, the rural radio network market anchor and i'm bryce Duskit reporting on the rural radio network this is mike mike likes his car mike likes to save money and mike likes to breathe so Mike fills up with E15 with 15% American ethanol. The clean octane in E15 gives Mike the performance he wants from his engine and the clean air he wants for his family. Better yet, E15 costs less at the pump. Higher octane, cleaner air, lower cost. E15 sure gives Mike a lot to like. Discover E15 with American ethanol. 